Hello friends, welcome to one more episode of Fiber Lasers. I am your host Vivek Chaudhary and in this video we are going to talk about the nozzles. You can see I have too many nozzles, single layer and double layer and in this video we are going to talk about everything related to nozzle like what is single layer, what is double layer, what is the use of nozzle and uh, different sizes of nozzle, how to choose the perfect nozzle for your fiber laser cutting machine. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. The main role of a nozzle is to pass the gases and the laser through its caliber. You can see a hole in the center of the nozzle. Uh, it varies from 0.8 mm to 4, 5, 6 mm depend on the nozzle size. So the gas passes through it and the laser beam passes through it. And due to that action, you are able to get cutting on your metal plates. I have too many defective nozzles. Uh, I have six nozzles and each nozzles are defective. So we are talking uh, one by one what is the issue in all of these nozzles. Let me show you the problems inside these nozzles so that you can aware and you can find out your nozzle is perfect for your cutting or not. We have these six defective nozzles and we are going to talk it. Uh, this is single layer and rest five are double layer nozzles. First nozzle we have this one and uh, you can see the tip of this nozzle. The tip of this nozzle is damaged and uh, customer uh, rub this tip also just to clean this but uh, you can see the straightness of the tip is gone. If the straightness of this tip is gone that means nozzle is also gone. So this nozzle is also get damaged. Guys you can see the tip of this nozzle there is a deposition. You can see the there is a metal deposition. This deposition damage the nozzle. If you are able to clean the deposition and your roundness of the uh, nozzle is perfect. It is circle then your nozzle is okay otherwise your nozzle is damaged. The main thing is your, the tip of your nozzle. Th this tip it should always be perfect round and should be straight always. If this is okay then there is no problem. Then there is no problem whether your uh, nozzle is damaged from this side from this side scratches and other things like this is damaged from this side this is due to collision there is a collision on this side but uh, the, if the tip is okay then your nozzle is okay in this case tip is also got some metal deposition and this deposition comes uh, when uh, piercing is happen if the piercing parameters are bad there is too much is parking on the upper side and there is a deposition on the nozzle and that damage the tip now the question is how much a uh, life of a laser nozzle have it depends on the cutting parameters also like if you have good cutting parameters there is noise parking on the upper side of seat so you get a very good life by a nozzle and if you have a good piercing parameter uh, you also get a very good life by a nozzle and if your lens are clean so there is no reflection internal reflection of laser beam so you also get a very good life of a nozzle and uh, if your beam centering your laser beam centering is perfect inside the uh, center of the caliber of the nozzle so you also get a very good life these are some of the factors which uh, decide the life of a nozzle there is no fixed life of a nozzle you can uh, damage the nozzle three four five six in a day or you can use a single laser for almost uh, single nozzle for almost uh, up to six months and one more thing due to which your nozzle get damaged and that is collision if your nozzle is collide with some object like if this uh, nozzle is collide with the blades of the cutting bed or with the plate or any of the object this is also can cause damage to your nozzle if your tip of the nozzle is damaged it means your nozzle is damaged if your outer periphery is damaged there might be chances you can use that nozzle your nozzle is okay but if your tip is no uh, damaged your nozzle is damaged you don't have to use that nozzle because a damaged tip gives you a bad cutting and uh, uneven burst and uh, uh, cause harm to your fiber laser also your machine also and now it's time to talk about the most important question and that is the type of nozzles we have two types of nozzle one is single layer nozzle and second is double layer nozzle and the question is what is the difference between single layer nozzle and double layer nozzle why we are using single layer nozzle for uh, high pressure cutting like nitrogen cutting uh, when we are using auxiliary gas nitrogen argon or compressed gas or why we are using double layer nozzle for oxygen cutting i am working on this question from a very long period of time and i didn't get any 
much information on any of the laser cutting head website i am going going to get on one of the conclusion and that is heating double layer nozzle and single layer nozzle is directly correlate with the heating your single layer nozzle is high pressure nozzle when we are using single layer nozzles there is no bush push fitting inside this single layer nozzle your single layer nozzle is direct nozzle high pressure nozzle a high pressure gas is passed through it and there is no coating on the bottom side there is no chromium coating because uh, it, uh, the gas passing through is a uh, very high pressure and cold gas due to which your nozzle always get colder and but in when uh, we are cutting with oxygen so when we are using oxygen we are using oxygen at a very low pressure due to which heat is generate too much and that's why there are three bypasses in the nozzle there is a bush fitting push fitting inside this a bush push fitting inside this double layer nozzle which create surface area which increase the surface area and due to which your heat is uh, distribute on a very large surface so uh, there are two types of flow a, one is direct flow and second is bypass flow due to which your nozzle get colder and second thing is there is a chromium coating on the down side of the nozzle this is also resist the heat due to which uh, your nozzle get colder when you do oxygen cutting you can do oxygen cutting by a single layer nozzle also but the heat inside this nozzle is way much more than this double layer nozzle because it's a single layer nozzle high pressure nozzle there is no bypass there is no much surface area like this nozzle have so this is heating heating very rapidly compared to this nozzle so this is the main difference between a single layer nozzle and a double layer nozzle i uh, i hope your doubt is clear about the single layer nozzle and double layer nozzle so guys thank you so much for watching this video we always make exclusive laser content for you uh, for guiding you helping you giving you information all the information related to fiber lasers so i hope you are going to like this video if yes so please do like and share this video and we are always going to make these type of exclusive laser content for you so subscribe our youtube channel and uh, we will see you soon in our next video thank you have a nice day